Hey, welcome back to another diecast review. This one here is going to be Chase Elliott's 2018 Napa Elite uh, Camaro ZL1. And this will be uh, also a review of the new 2018 Elite. Um, we'll get into the opinions on that. So we'll start with the diecast review and then we'll go into the review of the actual uh, Elite and the new detail that they've come out with. So, um, start off with the box. Same old Elite box from last year, not a big difference. It does have this on the side to explain the new differences. Um, there are no more tethers, so that's a big difference. The engine detail, it says realistic hoses. I'll beg to differ. Um, I'm maybe, maybe I'm just wrong, but um, I'm kind of hoping that uh, maybe mine just got the details wrong. But, uh, not for sure. Uh, trunk opening, again, no, no tethers, but everything else is the same. And then uh, working suspension, and then the, the bottom has the printed serial number. This is another thing. We don't get the serial card anymore. We get this. I mean, doesn't, uh, doesn't really do much. I mean, it's just a card, so it, you know, no specific number or anything, not a big deal. Um, you know, if you lose it, it's not like, you know, it's a huge detriment to the value of it, um, in my opinion. Shouldn't be, at least. So we'll start here on the left side, and then, then, then we're already into the bad stuff. So, as with the arc um, for Chase Elliott, the Elite is no different. It is this speckled, glittery-looking paint. Also, it's the wrong tone of blue. Um, it's supposed to be a uh, more of a royal blue. Um, it's... Oh, shoot, I don't think I have it over here. I anyway, the, the tone is supposed to be more like this off of William Byron's car. So you can see the way that that, uh, that paint looks. There we go, let's get it on the hood. It looks good up there. That, that, it's supposed to have that type of a finish underneath. A little bit smaller grains, if you would. Um, and so they messed it up on the arc, and I was hoping they'd fix it for the Elite. And then, obviously, also the wrong shade, um of blue. It's supposed to be a brighter blue. Um, but you know what? It, it They're going to hit and miss. I hope, I hope they get the duel right. At least if they can get the duel right, it's kind of like Redemption like last year. Last year didn't have the metallic uh, in the, on the, uh, what do you call it? Preseason release, the, uh, the Elite. But then after the uh, he won the duel, they did get it right on that one. So hopefully the duel win is right. I have that coming in Elite. Got to think about it after getting this one. Um, anyway, we got Napa 9, Mountain Dew, a lot less contingencies than last year. I mean, they, they, they used to fill the whole, uh, side of the car, and now it's down to just a tiny little bit up there. Um, then we got name rail sponsors up there, Chase Elliott up there on the name rail, or it's the a post, but, uh, um, wow, if this thing would just focus in, there we go. Chase Elliott there, Kelly Blue Book, Valvoline, Sun Energy down here on the corner. Good grief, my camera is off today. It is not wanting to do the whole focusing thing. It just doesn't want to do that. There we go. I don't know if it's just autofocus or what. Anyway, we'll get on to the back. There's our Napa know-how. And it's still not focused. Well, camera's having a rough day. Uh, anyway, you can see, again, the speckled paint that doesn't quite work right. Um, short spoiler, uh, again... Good detail as far as a fuel cell, but again, no tethers or anything. Um, we have uh, DIN number 619. And then we'll go on to the right side here. Again, same thing as the left side, very, very similar. Um, we'll go on to the roof flaps here. Um, I, always, I always lose the antenna when I try to open these roof flaps. They don't open as far as they sh used to. So they used to open about 90 degrees so you could stand them straight up. They only go to about that angle. So it's close, but it's not enough to hold it. So it is kind of difficult to prop the roof flaps open. I don't store them that way anyway, or display them that way, I should say. Uh, so it really doesn't make that big a difference. Uh, onto the ZL1 nose. So the, they nailed it. The Camaro nose this year, nailed it. The, the mold is spot on. And that's something Lionel has always been absolutely top notch at, even back to the days when it was action. Um, Action always had the better molds from Team Caliber and Checkered Flag and all those. I mean, it was always Lionel or Action at the time. But the molds, spot on. So they got the nose completely right. So you got to give props where it's due. Um, we're having it there. Um, they got the vents right. They got the nose right. It, it's all really good looking. Uh, windshield banner here uh, where it would be Monster Energy. Obviously the Mountain Dew 
issue with uh, Hendrick means they don't run that on the diecast. Now they still have to run it at the race, but not on the diecast. Um, up here, see it's got to zoom in. It's kind of a nitpicky thing, but if I can get close enough. There we go. Yeah, some speckled paint there. Um, and it, it, well, that piece wiped off, but, I mean, there's, there's definitely some paint on there, and it, it doesn't come off. So, you know, that's nitpicky with how tiny amounts of paint, but again, this is stuff that elites never used to see. You never saw paint issues on elites. Um, and yet you've got one just like that, and it's not... It's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's those little things that used to separate the elites that are now just, you know, they're showing up everywhere. So it is kind of a bummer that way. Now, this is the real disappointment. I have, I'll get to the interior after that. So there is the motor detail. Let me pull out a, uh, let's see here, I'll grab this one here. This is a Casey Kane uh, Justice League Elite. Uh, just got this in. Uh, I think the review will be coming. I'll probably post them at the same time between this one and uh, and that one. So, the Elite Detail Motor is the exact same, except it's missing every single hose and wire. I mean, if you can see it, it, it is difficult. So, I'll start, I'll move the chase onto the side, and we'll get into the cane one. All right. Let's focus in here. A little light camera. Thank you, Samsung. Um, so in there, you can see we've got a hose that comes off the front there. And then if you go to the side, there we go. Let's go to the side right there. There's some plug wires. We've got each individual. We got four individual spark plug wires on each side, or we used to. Now we go over to the Elliot. You can see there's a spot for those plug wires, but they aren't there. There's nothing in there. So, I'm wondering, you know, and I'm sorry for the shaky camera. I'm trying to move a little bit and hold this. I actually record with my phone. It's a good, good phone. Um, you can see there's a spot for the hoses. There's four individual holes there. One on the front um, in there. It's kind of hard to see. It's in the shadow, but um, get closer. Maybe I can get it. Yeah, there's the hole, and then there's those four there. So, I'm not 100% sure... Um, why the uh, why the hoses aren't in there? If that's a detail thing that they changed, or if that's just how the new diecasts are, I really hope it's a miss. I, I mean, if the hoses are coming back, if that if it's just this one, I will absolutely be still continuing to get the elites that I've got pre-ordered. If not, I'm going to be very very tempted to roll into. Um, chassis swapping everything and I did a chassis swap video earlier and that should already be on YouTube but um, so this is the William Byron this one is chassis swapped the um, Chase Elliott is elite side by side obviously there's no antennas the body is the same I mean the body work it's the exact same front suspension so if you push down on the front not a ton of movement not a ton of movement about the same no big deal flip it around to the back be around to the back here. Rear suspension works. It's hard to push down on these. I want to be careful. You know, pretty good movement, but also here, pretty good movement. About the same. So then you get into detail. Well, without tethers, the trunks are the same. The roof flaps are the same. The only difference is going to come to the interior and under the hood. And under the hood is still better because this is a plastic block. Um, and, you know, it's it's the best you can do because they just the engine detail sucked in 2015 or 16 or 17 because, you know, it's actually the same detail as what comes in the ARC uh, with the plastic chassis. But, you know, so the, the detail's better, but at the same time, if I can chassis swap it cheaper, you know, what's going to stop me? Now, in details on the interior. Now, this is something I cheated with a little bit. So inside of here, zoom in on the Byron. Uh, we've got the black post and a black mirror hanging on the uh, hanging on the car. Now the mirror, I believe, was black, but the posts in there are black because I colored them black. I took a sharpie to them when I was doing a chassis swap a while back to make them look better, and boy, they look better. Um, they're not normally black like that. So in the elite, uh, we generally have uh, you know black posts, 
in there, the Black Mirror. Um, we go around here, we're going to have the mirror on the side. Uh, let's see if I can move it that way. There we go. See that mirror right on the post? And then uh, up here, we're going to have the two antennas. So there are still advantages. Now, does that mean, now, so that means, you know, $85 for an Elite. If I have to spend $30 on a chassis and $50 on a car, it's not worth it. Doesn't make sense. So obviously, I'm going to look at it. But, you know, when you go from engine detail with no hoses to, uh, that's a 2007. You see all the hoses and wires and stuff in there. That's from a Denny Hamlin test car that's going to get turned into something. Um, been turned, been getting, wanting to turn that into something for a while. But anyway, back to this one. So the engine detail, really disappointing that way. So if that is the case where it's just a simple error, um, that, which I hope it is, I will definitely probably stick with the Elites because the chassis is better and just the options there. Now, the other thing, underneath here, there we go. There's supposed to be four little wires. And again, I see the holes for the wires. Here, they go here to here. So I'm wondering if I am missing wires or if they just took them out and thought nobody would notice. I mean, it's kind of noticeable. The first thing I noticed when I opened the hood was like, why are there no wires? So, and, and just for reference here, um, the Casey Kane one, you can see those four wires right there. Again, or the hoses, the wires. But, um, you know, it's not, it's not a huge deal. But, you know... That's still something. So again, if they're not doing those, I'm gonna have to think about it. Fingers crossed. If and if worst best case scenario, hopefully I can maybe find some. Or if Lionel still has leftovers from last year's elites, be great. Cause th it's nice. Those those uh, details make uh, a lot of sense. Um, but anyway, this has been the 2018 elite uh, and Chase Elliott review. It's kind of a two for one video just to uh, see Chase Elliott's car, which you know. It has its own struggles, isn't the most beautiful thing in the world, and the 2018 Elite, which, same way, so, uh, kind of a, the same emotion on both reviews, but, um, hopefully they can straighten it out. It's, it's brand new, this is the first one I've gotten this year of an Elite Camaro, so, there's a chance they can get that straightened out, I hope they do, but, uh, anyway, leave a like on the video, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, i got more videos coming every day that I get a new diecast, so, uh, still working through my whole collection slowly, but uh, slowly but surely, and I'll get there. Um, Going to be in Kansas next weekend for the uh, for the night race, so that ought to be fun, and maybe I'll do a video of uh, anything I get signed there. Uh, I don't have any pit passes, so we'll see what, what happens. I think there's a couple, couple of different drivers doing appearances, but uh, we'll have to just see how that works out. So uh, anyway, this has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next video.